today with uh, Jonathan Weezy from Cornerstone Church, and uh, today we're talking about revival. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I just have a question for you. Uh, what is your perspective on, on what's inhibiting revival in the church today? Yeah, thanks, Mike. I think that's a great question. The biggest thing that I think inhibits revival is just lack of faith, lack of trusting a God for who he is and, yes. and what he's doing. So in, instead of we're, we're busying ourselves with a lot of good things, just like uh, Martha was, but instead of the most important thing in the city of Jesus' feet, right. uh, finding that intimacy and joy in the Lord, uh, being overwhelmed with uh, his presence and who he is, uh, getting that big vision of who God is and his character and that we are a part of his great grand story. Um, instead, we want to um, often be more about our story. We want to be uh, all about magnifying our names instead of the one name that saves. Yes. Uh, so more than anything else, I think it's, it's um, wanting to be more about us than God. And so I think just as uh, John the Baptist said, that he must increase and I must de decrease. I think that is, is if we have that vision, we have that idea and conviction in our heart that God is greater, God is better, uh, is the spark that we need, that he is enough and um, he's worthy of all our time, our treasure, our talents, all of our affections, everything that is in us. Um, if we get that vision, revival will not be inhibited. Sure. And so out of that, I think um, when we are in sin and we're not running to this great God who forgives and loves and pours out his uh, kindness to us, I think that inhibits. So that uh, idea of not knowing who Christ is and what he has accomplished by his uh, sinless life, death, and, and, and victorious resurrection, uh, if we get a hold on that, that, that changes everything. We run to him and we run to our brothers and sisters and we're open with who we are and what God has done. And then because of that great treasure we have in him, we're more than willing to share that with our neighbors and coworkers. And so if, if we get that vision of who Christ is, who, what he has done, that we're a part of his story, uh, that is all we need right. to be faithful and obedient to what he's called us to do and go and make disciples of all nations. Sounds great. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. I really appreciate your time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.